Hi, my name is Chao Feng and I just got my bachelor's degree last year from the School of Finance at Yemi University of China, majoring in both finance and mathematics. My undergraduate award GPA was 3.84, ranking the first among a class of 30 elites, which brought me national scholarships in both 2011 and 2012. And I performed particularly well in mathematical courses with an average score of 92. And I also won the national first prize of mathematical contest in modeling in 2011. Well, I believe I'm well prepared for an advanced degree to strengthen and integrate my previous accumulation in finance, mathematics, and programming, and further pay my way for a career in the sophisticated mathematical finance industry. And I really wish to have the opportunity to be enrolled by NYU's mathematics in finance program. In September 2011, I took part in China Undergraduate Mathematical Contest in Modeling and worked on a project solving an interdisciplinary problem of pollution treatment in a group of three. The objective of this project is to analyze the heavy metal pollution situation of soil in a given city by setting up models on pollution transmission mechanisms and locating the exact pollution sources of eight kinds of heavy metal elements within 72 hours and by using the given 319 coordinates of locations in that city and the ion concentrations of eight pollutants on those sites. In order to have a general idea about the pollution situation, we first used MATLAB to draw the distribution maps of the eight pollutants with the help of V4 interpolation, and thus track the approximate uh, locations of the pollution sources. And then we quickly scanned many academic papers to learn the mechanisms of soil pollution transmission, and find it almost impossible to study the subject thoroughly within such limited amount of time. But I noticed that many of the cities mentioned that the soil will absorb some of the ions when pollutants pass by. Thus, I came up with the idea that we could set up ordinary differential equations, assuming the ion concentration was decreasing with respect to the distance from the pollution source, uh, either at a constant rate or at a rate that is linear to the distance. And then we used MATLAB to run regressions uh, and uh, obtain the least square estimators of the coefficients of our models and uh, found the exact allocations of the pollution sources. The fitting result of the first differential equation with a constant decreasing rate was not so good, but the fitting result of the second model was nearly perfect and the locations we found were almost the same as those shown on the distribution maps. And we also intuitively explained why some ion concentrations on some certain spots were much lower than our prediction, and we introduced penalty functions with respect to high altitudes and green districts to solve this problem. And at last, we in, uh, extended our static model by introducing more influencing factors and a dynamic mechanism, uh, which would lead to a much more robust solution as long as historical time series data was provided. Uh, and this analysis report we composed eventually brought us the National First Prize, ranking top 1% among nearly 20,000 teams worldwide. Even though this project was not in the field of finance, it was still interesting to me because it was the very first time that I put my knowledge of mathematics and programming into practice to solve and analyze real-world problems. The project showed me how wonderful it would be when I combined the preciseness of mathematics to the complexity of reality, which I believe is also the essence of mathematical finance. I would like to combine uh, the relationship between mathematical methods uh, with the intuitions of real-world problems to the relationship between painting skills and aesthetics. Intuitions like aesthetics should be both the starting point and the ending point of a piece of work, which means uh, giving directions and testing results, but then quant methods like the painting skills uh, used for realizing abstract ideas and uh, leading to results. Someone who has a taste for beauty but is not able to draw can become a connoisseur. Someone who owns the painting skills but uh, doesn't appreciate beauty can only become a painter. Only those who possess the two talents as, at the same time can become artists. Uh, in this product, I set up mathematical models uh, with uh, intuitions I acquired through brave research 
and I obtained the results uh, with the programming skills I had learned. And the results turned out to be in perfect accord with the intuitions, which gave me great uh, sense of achievement and made me feel like an artist in the quant field. That was the reason why this project was appealing to me, and that was why I decided to pursue a career in the mathematical finance industry.